Hi guys, well, I just thought I would vlog a little bit today. I'm not sure what exactly I'm gonna show you, um, but I did wanna just say um, thank you so much for all the well wishes for my husband, and uh, he's been doing pretty good. That was a couple of weeks ago when I said he had his gallbladder removed. I've read tons of books and things since then, so that's really helped. Had, you know, um, pretty decent diet going forward. He's experimented a little and everything's been fine, but uh, he's doing much better. You can just tell like a lot of the inflammation, if not all of it is like gone now, you know, just the way he looks and, you know, stomach and everything. Sorry, I'm looking at my skin. I feel like usually I like my makeup. I've been doing something different, but I've had it on a while, a little bit longer now. Um, and I have a couple breakouts right here, and for some reason it looks real shiny right here. Anyway, so I'm not having a great skin day, so probably not the best day to be vlogging, having the camera up in my face. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was going to show you my closet. I never did that, so let's take a look. Some of you may remember, this is my bedroom and my closet, when, gosh, it's been, when we got new carpet, back in February, I think. So we redesigned it a little bit. And I didn't want to dedicate just a whole video to it. But this is what it looks like. So for me, it helps having sections. So, you know, sections here and sections here. It really helps me see what I have. If you remember, um, and I'll probably put some before and afters if I can remember. Uh, it was just long rows of clothes. So this is new. And my husband and I pretty much, we built it all. Not pretty much we did, but kind of almost had to design it and measurements and stuff. Thank God he's an engineer because it was a little challenging because it is not custom. Uh, it's closet made. So this is what it looks like. And I had shown you when we got new carpet. Maybe I'll link that vlog below what it looked like with nothing in it. So... Uh, I needed a place for my bags, which I admit, I feel like this looks a little obnoxious when they're in their dust bag sitting in there like that with the names out. I don't like that, but I don't want them not in the dust bag, if that makes sense either. So obviously these are all my husband's clothes. A lot of them are missing at the dry cleaner. And then this is his side. We kind of just figured out, you know, what do we both need? We need storage for shoes and Things like that. These are some of my other bags up here. And these are a few more of his um, shirts and like dress pants for work and things. This was actually my old area that I had shoes in, but we repurposed it because this area behind um, the door, it's a little weird angle here. So we didn't want it to just be blank space, but we wanted to repurpose what we already had. So my belts are still the same. Put a little trash can in here just in case we need it for whatever reason. So here's more um, my side. I just have like a couple light sweatshirts and things I might throw on in the morning with loungewear. And then basically at the top here, and these are just some shoes and things that I don't wear a lot, but I wanted to keep the boxes. So basically, I think I'm going to switch sides for this possibly, but these are like some of my sweaters, like cardigans and light sweaters, and then you can see button-down shirts like plaids, which I have a problem with button-down shirts and plaids. And then these are um, white jeans, which I have, I think, two more pair that are in the laundry. White jeans, pants, some colored jeans, things like that, a couple skirts and some blazers, and I have all my tennis shoes down there. And this right here basically has like t-shirts, workout clothes. This top drawer just has, um, you know, some of my more most worn pieces kind of in here. Basically everything not Stella and Dot. I keep that in my office. And then this is some other costume jewelry that I don't always wear. A couple little Louis Vuitton makeup bags. And then this in here I have shorts and jeans. That's what that looks like. I like to have them on shelves. I like my white jeans to be different, but um, shorts, jeans, all that in here. And then this side, um, it starts sleeveless and then regular. And some of these are like a little bit nicer t-shirts, you know, material that doesn't fold real well. I have another drawer with all my t-shirts. And same with this, kind of like just blouses, three-quarter length. Um, but again, I may switch these top two. I'm not sure yet. See how this has um, the shelf here and the shelf at the bottom? 
We're thinking about still doing that to each of these here to make it look a little more finished, but um, we haven't done that yet and it's something we can put in at any time because the summer kind of got away from us with vacation and then my husband, you know, being ill off and on, but that is something we're thinking about doing to finish it off. And then I needed a place for my shoes and this still again is not all my shoes, but the ones I like to look at are the nicer ones, uh, the ones, you know, I wear more frequently. And then this is actually full of shoes, <laughs> which I like because um, it's some of my lesser worn sandals, but then it's out of sight, out of mind. I love this thing. I don't know if you can see. It's a really good size. Fits really good in the closet. My husband loves it because he sits on it every morning, puts his shoes on for work. And um, it has shoe storage in it. So this is what it looks like. Pretty cool. And I will try to link where it's from if I can remember and then this is all of my dresses I've downsized I do have some a few nicer dresses in another closet um, but these are most of my rompers and dresses and so forth so I think that's it back up a little bit here so really loving just the layout like I said I need sections to help me stay better organized but I just remembered that I never showed you guys uh what it looked like. So I had blood work this morning. I'm just now having coffee. It's a little after nine because I went to the grocery store afterwards. Um, I gave blood for my six month um, thyroid appointment. I go every six months now because my labs had been so regular and um, pretty symptom free. So I went to every six months, although when I go back in a couple weeks, I think uh, we're going to have to talk about some things. As I've mentioned, I feel like my hormones have kind of been all over the place. So, we've been into grapes. They've had the best organic grapes. Look how pretty those look. I just rinsed them off so they're sitting here. Um, the last bunch I got was awesome. And I haven't shown many grocery hauls, speaking of that, because I feel like I'm going to the grocery like every few days because of just how we've been eating Lots of salads, lean meats, not too different. Sorry, I know the Keurig's loud. Not too different than what we normally eat, but my husband's been snacking on better things. Like he's always been a veggie snacker, but more so now. Um, like constant celery, cucumber, you know, with hummus, things like that, and a lot of fresh fruit. So, um, and you know, it's great because fruit's in season. And I wanted to show you last night, it was a little dark. Um, aren't our boxes? These are some of our new boxes. I got a couple of the new releases, and these are our rose gold arabesque chandelier earrings. Look how pretty those are. I showed you the different shape in my Stella and Dot um, fall haul and try on. But these are the rose gold. We got a lot of new rose gold pieces in. So those of you that love rose gold, this collection is for you. I feel like they're not showing up like as pretty and shiny as they are in person. And then I got these. I decided to get the dark red. We have blush and dark red because I thought these would be perfect for holiday. Um, or just anything, you know, going into fall. I don't have anything like this. And these are also convertible. So this comes off and you can just wear the stud, which, you know, a lot of our pieces are convertible. But I decided to get the dark red. Uh, just thought this would be awesome with an all black outfit or something really cute or off the shoulder for fall and holiday. So, but again, we do have a pretty uh, blush color. So just wanted to show you guys those. Okay, before I forget, I've had this sitting on my desk for quite a while, but I've had other giveaways I wanted to do. So let's go ahead and do a giveaway. This is going to be a Dermalogica set. And I already have these from when they sent me, you guys may remember that. I think I put it in another video maybe. They sent me a whole bunch of items. So it comes, you know, wrapped up really pretty. Basically, it is the Hydro Blur Primer which I've only used once or twice, so I really couldn't tell you about it. Um, but then also the Replenish Oil. This is actually a nice oil. Um, it's just I was having issues with my skin breaking out at the time they sent this, so um, I quit using it, but it was really nice. So anyway, um, I will put the link to enter below, and like I said, it comes in this cute little box. There'll be one winner. 
um, and you can read all the rules and all that down below and how to enter and when and all that. But anyway. Okay, I'm in my office now. Sorry, I feel like there's a little bit of a weird shadow. Um, and let me know, I was looking through some of my pictures and trying to get some ideas together. I have thought, since I know a lot of people don't follow me on Instagram, about putting together some of my Instagram pics and explaining my outfit inspiration because as I've said this many times, I get asked so many times for more outfit videos, clothing hauls, things like that, um, which I would love to go shopping for you guys all the time, but that's expensive and I don't need that many clothes. Um, but just like how I pick out jewelry, how I put an outfit together. I'm trying to think of what would be a good way to do that because I feel like sometimes I need inspiration like, oh, I'm going on vacation. So then like I know what outfits and jewelry and stuff like that. Just day to day, it's almost like a last minute kind of thing sometimes when I put, um, you know, my jewelry or outfits together. And most of the time you guys know I'm very simple, but I feel like you can be simple but put together. Um, so anyway, let me know if that would be interesting to you guys. Um, kind of do like a lookbook kind of roundup. This is what I wore then. This was why I wore it or tell you how things fit. Um, cause I know sometimes in the pictures I try to give some information, but it's mainly just about here's my look for some inspiration. And if I have links to things, then obviously I do link, uh, what I can, but I don't always have links. Um, anyway, just give me your feedback on that. Oh, and I had mentioned um, in my latest Instagram that we have been mattress shopping. It's so hard because we kind of know what we want. And it's one of those I don't think you can take recommendations from people because everybody likes something different. But um, look at all these mattresses that Overstock has. I We have learned we're not the people that can buy a mattress online and show up. Because, you know, there's a lot of those memory foam bed in a box things, which I think is great and the price is great. But after laying on them, even after laying on different um, memory foam, they're just all so different. So we are either between a hybrid and a memory foam. And a hybrid, for those of you who don't know, it's basically like a regular inner spring down here and then it has many, many layers of memory foam at the top. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. And um, we're kind of trying to narrow it down, but we're just not sure what we want to do. So that's what we've been doing. But man, I was really surprised to see how many mattresses on Overstock. I just don't know. I guess if you found the one you wanted, you could buy it from Overstock if it was cheaper. But you, there's no way you can get around not laying on some mattresses. Okay guys, so I'm going to end this here. And if, oh, something's on my mirror. <laughs> if we do anything interesting for dinner, I'll put it in. If not, um, then you won't see it, but I think we're just going to do chicken on the grill and like some sweet potato, something really simple. Like I said, we've been just eating, uh, very simple like that. And I really appreciate all the comments and the feedback on my last vlog. I almost forgot to say that. It just makes doing videos so much better when I have that interaction, because if you guys aren't commenting, or watching my video, it feels like, you know, what am I doing this for? When I get the feedback, it makes me want to continue. So it's a two-way street, you know? So definitely um, leave me your comment. Let me know you're watching. Um, so many of you were like, oh, I never comment, but I wanted to. I appreciate that so much. You don't even know. So again, um, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.